Hello everyone, my name is Dredden, and today we're going to talk about bikes, also known as bicycles in the game. So, this is one of the best early game forms of transportation. It is pretty darned easy to make, nice and quick, and so let's get moving and take a little look at the bike itself and then craft one. So the bike is pretty slow, but you can go a little bit faster by hitting shift. Right? And like most of the vehicles in the game, uh, you can pan around it if you click on your mouse. But the other way, it generally just starts riding like this, which is sort of view driven. And uh, that's not too bad. But yeah, just click on it once and then you'll be able to use your ASWD to start controlling it. Some notes should be that uh, it isn't really designed for really nasty terrain. It will probably get stuck in things like that. It does take damage fairly quickly. Riding it through like a ditch, probably a bad idea. And you'll get kind of stuck like this. And it doesn't really, there's not really many ways to get out. But you can always hop off, hold E, and then go down to take. And it will bring it into your inventory. So that is a good way to get out of there and then you just put it back down and onto the ground of course you do not want to run over landmines that will be bad for you and if you see things like trash that can degrade your bike some of the things do collide like garbages will collide with your bike you just have to be careful it kind of knocks your bike around small stones and trees aren't really great Birds seem to love to attack you when you're on your vehicles, so you should be extremely careful about that uh, in the desert and in the wasteland. It is very bad. Um, but yeah, riding in this area is quite harsh. There's all these obstacles, including uh, cinder blocks, which will slow you down. Of course, this bird will always catch up to you. And you have a decreased chance of seeing landmines because it's just so sort of large. Now <laughs> we have two birds on us now. Time to get out of here. So yeah, be very careful in a wasteland. Also pressing the C button causes the bike to hop, kind of do a little bit of a wheelie, but it's a little bit dangerous if you don't know what's on the terrain. And yeah, just do little hops. Brum, brum, brum. Getting it up maybe into a nice little wheelie, but it really depends on what's around you. Yeah, going up hills will slow you down quite a lot, even if you're holding the shift key. You can't go up absolutely everything. If you're doing this, getting chased by a zombie, it would be quite possibly really bad. That is a little bit ridiculous. Uh, you can see the back wheel is actually spinning out. If I stop pressing shift, I don't know. Yeah, you'll eventually make it, but I mean, this is sort of just ridiculous. And you'll roll backwards too, if you stop. So. It is quite an interesting little vehicle. One little other thing, you press the space bar to hit the brakes, just like with all vehicles. So if you're on a hill and you're rolling around, you can hit that to possibly slow your descent. There you go. Okay, to interact with the bike, you press the E key and hold it down, and that will open up this radial menu where you can then select to drive it instead of just pressing E real quick. Uh, you can open it up so that you can see all of its little parts here. Um, there's no fuel for this one because it just uses you. It talks about its stats and you can lock it, which makes it so that other players can't use your bike. You can enter a password code if you want to and that way other people can only use it if they have the password. You can take it. You can honk its horn. <laughs> And it has a little bit of storage, so you can put a couple of things in there, like if they had an extra wheel, but it's not like the wheels go flat or anything. But repair kits, it's good to put repair kits inside, because if your bike gets broken, then it's good to fix it. Okay, I've taken my bike just a little bit around the block here, and it's got a little bit of damage. It's got 1% damage, so let's just repair that real quick, and you just go over to storage. We can pull out the repair kits we put in, and then there's this repair icon that will take a repair kit and do that. But I mean, bikes are a lot harder to damage 
uh, uh, vehicles in general uh, in Alpha 18. And so it's not too bad. You won't need a whole lot of those repair kits. At some point you will. But, you know, wait till it gets, like, definitely below 50%. All right, so to build ourselves a little bike, we need to get a couple of things. We need to be able to get the ability to craft it. So these are the parts that you need to get eventually, but we're going to show you how to make these ones. So you can use these schematics, which are found all around the world, lots of times in car parts. So... You know, check out some passing gases or automotive stores, and you should probably find some. So you could read them, and it would just be a matter of, uh, you know. Oh, first I want to show you another thing real quick. As you can see in the crafting menu, it doesn't actually take anything to craft it. It doesn't take a workstation or anything to craft a bike. But you do see that the bicycle chassis is locked, and same with the bicycle handlebars. And so you can learn it by either getting the Grease Monkey skill or by having this schematic here. And it's used for crafting a vehicle and it uses these parts. So we're going to go get some of these parts in a moment. And the bicycle handlebars are very much the same thing. Grease Monkey, schematic, and a bunch of different parts. So yeah, you can just use one of these. Or you can go over into your intelligence and go down to Grease Monkey. Now this requires a little bit of something else. It requires some intellect, so just buy a little bit of intellect so you become a dullard. <laughs> and then you can buy your bicycle mechanic. So both ways are possible to do it. And um, apparently craft wheels and bicycle parts is 33% cheaper by doing it this way, which is quite interesting. Uh, going the intelligence route seems to be a, a little bit nicer way to do it. I'm going to actually wipe this out though because I'd rather build it in a more generic way. If you don't know, um, there is a, the ability to use one of two things, which is forgetten sauce, forget, if you look up forget, or actually the English word forget. <laughs> Either one will get you this grandpa's elixir. This one does only your skills and this one does skills and books so I'm just gonna get rid of my grease monkey bam grease monkey gone that way we don't have this weird boost from it so I can you know craft everything you know more like other people do okay and then there's wheels as well so how do we craft a wheel wheels are just craftable in your backpack but you do need to get a bunch of polymers some acid some forged iron some oil and coal Let's see here, and uh, pipe, we'll, we're going to need some pipe, so just look in a sink for that. If you need more pipes, you can always break down a toilet. Bam! Pipes. These are those passing gas boxes. See if we can find anything in there. If you need mechanical parts, I think you can get some out of these leather chairs. Yep, one. Or you can take apart these filing cabinets. There's another one, plus you get some iron. If you can find some old cars or something, that would be a pretty good way to get a number of things, like lots of mechanical parts, pipes, and scrap iron. Duct tape can also be found in garbage piles. If you're looking to get polymers, a good way to get them is break down tires. Also looking in sinks and such are quite good. We also get oil out of vehicles too. The higher quality they are when you start, the better. Yeah, you can also get leather out of vehicles if they're at the highest look point. To get some extra leather and bones, you can also shoot a deer. And then you just harvest it for some bone and meat. To get some coal, you can break down embers. Some of these burnt trees, like that one, this one here, just chop and each time you get a little bit of coal as well. You can also find a coal node, like this guy here. Smash that apart and you get a lot of coal there. They do go under the ground, down like that. You can check out my ore guide for that one. Okay, we have to forge some iron now. To get some iron, you can use a forge. I've got a tutorial on that one. Yeah, you just have to go forged iron, get it, some of this stuff melted in there, and then craft. So I'm just going to make some up. To make duct tape, if you haven't found any, you can always find murky water, combine it with bones in the fire by doing glue. You need seven bones, and then combine the glue with cloth to make duct tape. So I'm just going to get some of that. As you can see, recipes, duct tape, craft, and then that's that. All right, for this next stage, we're going to have to go over to our workbench. Uh, it's easier to probably see from here, but if you type in B-I-C, 
you'll see that these require some kind of workstation and this is the works workbench so we just have to craft them up so like i said you just grab your various parts we got the iron we've got some of the duct tape the leather from here so we hit craft on that one handlebars craft yourself one of them as well for wheels you just need to have your scrap polymers bottles of acid forged iron oil and coal we now have plenty of all of those mostly because of taking apart cars and searching under sinks. So craft, we need two of them actually. They take a minute and five seconds each. It'll be less if you have the perk for it, the uh, grease monkey, because it'll require less material, which will take it, which will mean it'll take less time. At least it should, unless they've hard coded that in somehow. Okay, I'm just gonna drop off some of the stuff because we're gonna need this stuff for building cars. Well, not cars, but 4x4s and other vehicles, motorcycles, mini bikes, stuff like that. Okay, so to finally build the bike, you need to have one extra mechanical part plus the things that we've already crafted. I've actually got a spare wheel here. That uh, those are what we need. So two wheels and uh, craft. And then when we're done, eventually we'll get ourselves a bike. And once you do, you just plop that sucker down. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and share with some friends. And if you are new to the channel and want to keep learning more about 7 Days to Die, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in another video. Bye bye.